Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning, where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to integrate self-study and learning with a teacher and learn faster. Since you're learning a language, are you learning on your own or are you also learning with a teacher? If you are, but if you're learning different things on the app and different things from your teacher, you're actually spreading yourself thin and slowing your progress. And that's because you're skipping key steps of the learning process. So today you'll discover why learning separate things from separate sources slows you down, how combining the two helps you learn faster and hits on all the key steps of the learning process, and how to apply these tactics. But first, if you're looking for new, free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Talking About Language PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. This cheat sheet will teach you how to talk about languages and phrases like, I can speak a little bit of, I've been learning for three years, and much more. And second, the All the Language You Need for Everyday Life Cheat Sheet Bundle, where you get all of our best conversation cheat sheets rolled up into one with this gift. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. How to integrate self-study and learning with a teacher and learn faster. Part one, do you combine self-study and learning with others? If you think about it, most language learners learn on their own with a few different resources, a few apps, and maybe a textbook. And then you have learners that do both self-study and learning with a tutor. But for the most part, they learn different things from different sources. Words on this app, different phrases on that app, and maybe some unrelated grammar with a tutor. Is this something you do? Because if you do, then this disconnected approach can slow your language progress down. How exactly? There's a simple formula to learning successfully. Successful learning requires one, acquiring new information, two, practicing using what you've learned, three, getting feedback and implementing it, and then four, getting assessed, someone telling you if you're on the right track or not. So if you wanna learn fast, you'll want to do all of these things. Now, if you're learning alone, then you're mostly just acquiring new information, new words from this app, unrelated phrases from that app, and so on. You're just jumping from resource to resource without practicing and getting feedback on what you've learned. And you're not going to remember what you learn as well. You're missing some critical steps of the learning process, namely the practice, feedback, and assessment from a native teacher. And even if you are learning on your own and with a teacher, but there's no overlap with your self-study, you're still missing the practice for what you're doing on your own. So it's best to combine your self-study with what you're doing with a teacher so that you learn on your own and go on to practice what you've learned with a teacher and get feedback. Now, you might be thinking, why not just learn with a teacher then without self-study? If you're learning with a tutor or teacher, then it also becomes a question of time. You're on a limited schedule. Your teachers are on a limited schedule. Plus, you have to pay for their time too. Let's say you have one hour of classes a week with a native speaking teacher. How would you wanna spend it? Do you wanna spend that hour listening to grammar explanations and learning new words? Or do you wanna use that time practicing speaking and getting feedback? If you spend that hour learning words and grammar rules, then you have to wait until the next time to practice. And that takes even more time, money, and slows down your progress. So it's better to learn and prepare ahead of time on your own, and then practice those concepts with the teacher later. But if you don't prepare ahead of time, you become like that one person you probably had in your class. They didn't come prepared and the teacher always had to stop and explain everything to them and slow the class down. There's always one person like that. And it'd be better for the student and their progress if they prepared on their own. So the point of integrating self-study and learning with others is to make the most of your time with a teacher. Practice what you've learned on your own and get feedback as you practice. 
Otherwise, if you come to a teacher without preparation, they'll just spend the time explaining grammar rules or reviewing vocabulary, and it's not actually implementing what you've learned on your own, which you won't get to practice until next time, if at all. And if you're just doing self-study, then you likely won't get a chance to practice at all. But it's the practice and feedback that helps the language stick, and that's the part you can't skip. Part two, how to integrate self-study and learning with others. So here's what you can do. One, join our live group classes. We're currently offering live group classes for Japanese, English, Italian, Chinese, Korean, Spanish, French, Portuguese, German, Greek, and Thai. Our live classes provide you with lessons you can study on your own. And then you get to practice with our teachers in the live classes. Two, find a teacher or tutor that works with the same resource that you have, whether it's our program or a textbook. Have the tutor see what you're studying so they can match. And it's important that there's overlap, that what you're learning with the tutor and on your own is the same. So you can learn on your own and practice with the teacher. Three, you can also try our Premium Plus plan if you're not quite ready for live classes. Our Premium Plus teachers are familiar with our learning program, so there's no disconnect between what you learn on your own and what you'll learn with them. And four, find a friend or a community that's learning with the same resource as you. That way, you can practice with them and they can step in and clear up any questions that you may have. So, do you combine self-study and learning with others? Or do you plan to? Leave us a comment! So, thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about Your pronunciation is terrible! Is pronunciation important or not? If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.